In this next section, we will discuss the appearance of the relationship after having had a lengthy talk about uh, strength. And now I need to introduce another small story to you then. See some things are just not prepared at all. <clears throat> While they were at it, Savantis's brother, the Randy Casa de Salsa chain, if you recall, asked if they could conduct a small study on consumer behavior as well. He wanted to motivate his customers to buy more drinks and he was wondering if it would pay off to give them free appetizers before and between the courses. As long as he put enough garlic and salt in these cheap extras, people would get thirsty and the net amount of money the franchise earned would increase. Cervantes collected eight participants for him, who were given a random number of appetizers. Did this affect how many drinks they ordered? Let's take a look at that. It is time to describe the regression line itself that we draw through the graph. So here's a new scatter plot, this time on the basis of eight participants. Correlation was actually rather close to what we have seen in the previous example, 0 0.606, strong relationship. But how does the trend look exactly? So in this case, how many more drinks can we expect a customer to order? with every additional appetizer that we serve them. And so what we need to do is we need to come up with an expression for the regression line. This would be the so-called regression equation and its general shape looks like this. There's a good chance that you have seen something along these lines in school, typically uh, linear functions uh, have the form y is equal to uh, ax plus b or y is equal to mx plus b that can be, depend a bit on uh, where you had your secondary uh, education but this is the um this is the expression that we typically use in statistics so the yeah the numbers the letters have swapped their places for some reason unfortunately this is uh, not the right time to explain to you why we would have to put the a at the front separately and then add bx later it, there's a there's a reason but yeah it's just a matter of convention largely you will see that the meaning of the uh, a and b also known as the regression coefficients um, is still what you are familiar with from that potentially ancient past. Let us begin with A, the intercept. This is the mathematical definition. It would be uh, the, predicted, uh, the predicted score on Y when X is equal to zero. A simpler way, simpler expression would be to say, well, uh, A is the point where the regression line, the Zundheit, the point where the regression line intercepts the Y axis. Mathematically, then, it's always the point where x will be zero, right? Because you, if you are at the y-axis, this is a situation where no appetizers are served to our customer. So what does the intercept then express? It expresses how many drinks we expect a customer of this kind to order. The predicted number of drinks that the customer will order if they are not served any appetizers. In this way, an intercept often functions as a sort of baseline. Baseline performance, in this case, of uh, restaurant uh, visitors, restaurant guests. And uh, of course, we are interested to see how an increase in appetizers might change that behavior. That is the question we want to answer by describing this trend line, right? But there is an important uh, baseline as it determines the general height of the line, you could say. More important is maybe that other coefficient, b. And do you know how we call the b coefficient? This would be the slope. Is that the most common term, Estelle? Yes, that's right. Uh, also known as the gradient, but I will consistently call this thing the slope. As the picture already indicates, this is the predicted increase 
in this case the predicted increase of the drink consumption, for every additional appetizer that we serve our customer. In general then, this is the change in Y hat. I'm calling it Y hat, by the way, as the line just gives us uh, a prediction of the drinks. Well, the trend line does not express how many drinks people actually order, but just what we expect from them based on the overall trend in the graph. Therefore, B expresses the change in Y hat, change in the predicted number of drinks, the expected number of drinks, whenever X, the number of appetizers, rises by one unit. That's the idea.